In many ways, viruses are like families, giant, complicated, extended families with cousins, aunts, uncles, grannies and grandpas galore. Just as with human families, scientists can generate family trees for viruses, showing how each member, or variant, is related to the others. Children are connected to parents by branches, and cousins are connected through their grandparents. For viruses, these family trees give biologists insights into how a virus has evolved over time and what changes to expect in the future. During the pandemic, the family tree of SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes the disease COVID-19, has produced more surprises than anyone expected. It turns out the SARS-CoV-2 family had two black sheep that it kept hidden from the world. When those relatives appeared, seemingly out of the blue this autumn, they not only shocked the world, but they also made evolutionary biologists question their understanding of the pandemic's future. Yes, I'm talking about Omicron BA. 1 and its sibling BA. 2. When SARS-CoV-2 first emerged, many virologists thought they knew how it would evolve, slowly and minimally. They were skeptical that the coronavirus would change much at all, says virologist Ravi Gupta at the University of Cambridge. Everyone had been telling us that SARS coronavirus doesn't mutate very much and therefore we're not going to see mutations that evade our immunity, he says. But I just wanted to kind of see whether that was really true. Virologist Jeremy Lubin at the University of Massachusetts Chan Medical School heard the same skepticism. In March 2020, I tried to write a grant application to study variants. And I have to say, I got a lot of flack from colleagues who were saying, you know, this virus isn't going to mutate anyway. At first, Lubin's and Gupta's colleagues looked to be correct. During the first year of the coronavirus pandemic, the virus didn't change that much. SARS-CoV-2 picked up only about one or two mutations each month. 